everyone, welcome back to Yellow Cottage Soapery. I am testing out a new fragrance today, and it's actually called Blue Citron and Cyclamen. And I googled Blue Citron, and all that came up was um, pictures of sneakers. So I have no idea what that is. I think it's some kind of a fruit. The description says, chilled citron and grapefruit zest complement soft floral notes of beach blossom. And I think that might mean to say peach blossom and white cyclamen. So I'm not doing anything blue like you probably would think. I decided to do colors that were kind of um, Valentine's looking. I wanted to do a pink soap. So my base will be white. And I have a couple different pinks and reds that I'll probably mix. I have a red and two, a lighter pink and a darker pink. I also have a celadon green. And then I have a darker green. So on the top, I'm going to pipe a little bit. Um, I didn't, couldn't find anything on piping a cyclamen. And I researched a little bit. I think I'm just going to use um, a simple tip. I'll show you guys when I get to that point. So let's get started.
back to pipe and what I did was I put the two different color greens in a piping bag with um, it's a rose tip 104 and I have the, the hot pink and the light pink both in a bag with in separate bags and this is a 1M tip and the white is in I didn't have a third um, 1M tip so I just use this little one it's a 224 so I'm just going to kind of make some big leaves cyclamens have kind of big round leaves I don't know if I'll be able to get them that way I was kind of playing with it um, kind of on the base of this and then um, I'm just going to kind of put some color some flowers on top of that with um, the pink and the the pinks and the white. I don't know if it probably won't look like a cyclamen, but I think it'll still be pretty. So I didn't clean this part off like I normally do. And now it's bugging me. So I'm just going to real quick. Now I went ahead and put the two color pinks just to stripe down the center because I had extra. I knew I saved too much piping. So... All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just do the leaves first. And with this, you hold it the same way you would hold it if you were gonna make a rose. The larger part of the tip is down. And I'm gonna kinda just hold it at an angle and kinda go up and kinda make a point and come back down. Now, they're not really what a cyclamen leaf looks like. They're kind of more wide and circular, but I'm just going to go with, with this. It's just going to be kind of underneath the, the actual colors.
back to cut the citron and cyclamen and the top of it. You can see the green turn back to kind of a brighter shade of green. Yesterday when I made it, it was kind of a darker olivey hunter type green. Um, I thought I would show you guys how I cut this into logs because I've had a lot of people ask me about that. So I have my log splitter right here. This is from Bud's Wood Shop and he has um, he sells these on Etsy and he also sells the soap cutter that I have that I use as well. Um, so I just put it on its side. And just carefully push it through. I usually have to run it along the side of the wood because it just fits with my when my piping is a little higher. Oh wow. And that's the inside of one of the logs in the top. And sometimes I'll cut these and just let them sit for a little while before I come back and cut them into bars. And then this is my end piece that I cut for samples. And that's the inside of the other loaf. So I will go ahead and get set up to cut these and I will be right back. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and cut it now. And it had been about, I would say, 24 hours since I made this. Um, usually I unmold it after about 18 or 20. Um, take the freezer paper off. That's kind of pretty. Take the freezer paper off and then I kind of let it sit on, it, on its end <clears throat> and dry out a little bit before I cut it into logs. It's kind of pretty. I really wanted to swirl this, but then I was also anxious to see how it looked just pouring it like that. So I left it. it smells really nice. It smells even better than it did out of the bottle. And I like the green much better than what it was yesterday. I knew when I added a little bit of the groovy green that it would brighten up today. And if I left it and just used the soap berry green, I'm not sure if it would have or not. I never risk it. I usually just add a little bit of the brighter green just to make sure that it doesn't come out, you know, an ugly green. I like that bright pink. It's almost, it almost looks like I did two different types of pores. It kind of looks like I did something different on the bottom and then kind of a tiger stripe on the top. I think it's because it thickened and so at the bottom it was kind of spreading out more when I was pouring it and then as it got thicker it kind of just the colors kind of just sat on top of each other. And you can tell that the background, as well as the white here on the top, kind of turned a little bit yellowy, which I think is really pretty. And it does, it does have about 8% vanillin in it, I noticed, actually before I made it. So I added a little bit of uh, extra titanium dioxide so that it wouldn't turn too much, you know, into a darker color. That one's kind of cool. Um, and I really like the yellow shade. I think it's kind of pretty. Oh, that one's cool. And that one is really quite cool. And the last one. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I will see you all in the next video.